Hey everyone, let's take a look at one of the most exciting new features in Tailwind 2.0, Dark Mode. Here's a simple UI card with a bit of text and a couple of buttons. In this video, we'll implement a Dark Mode version for it. Let's look at our config file and you can see there is a new Dark Mode option available. It's turned off by default and can be set to two different values, media or class. Note that turning dark mode on will generate a large amount of new utilities, which is the reason why it's turned off by default. We'll look at the media strategy first, so I'll set the dark mode option to media here. Regardless of what strategy you choose, the way you implement dark mode variants in your HTML is by using the dark prefix. For example, where the background is set to be white here, I can add the dark BG gray 900 class, to make the background dark gray for the dark mode variant. Nothing happens for now. As you can see here, the media dark mode strategy generates utilities wrapped inside a prefers color scheme dark media query. This listens for user setting at the operating system level on their device. If I open my system preferences, you'll see that I currently have light mode selected. If I switch it to dark, you can see the background color change accordingly in our card respecting the prefers color scheme media query. Dark variants can be applied to any color-related utility classes. It's also stackable with other variants like responsive breakpoints, hover states, etc. Let's change our text colors for the dark variant. Our heading will become gray 200 and our paragraph will become gray 400. It's looking pretty good now. For the card footer, We'll set our background to switch from gray 200 to gray 700. We'll also update the divide color from gray 400 to gray 500. Finally, we'll update our buttons. The first one will go from green 700 to green 400. And on hover, it will go from gray 800 to gray 500 with dark colon hover colon text green 500. And here's the stacking of variants I was talking about. Our last button needs dark variants for text and background colors. Green 700 for the text, green 200 for the background, and green 100 on hover. Our card is now dark mode compatible, and you can see it looks pretty good in both variants as I toggle between dark and light mode in my system preferences. In certain situations, you might want to have a bit more control and decide whether dark mode should be toggled on or off directly in the browser instead of at the operating system level. This is where you'll want to use the class strategy. I'll change the dark mode option to class in my config file. Now, toggling between dark and light mode in my system preferences doesn't trigger any changes anymore. Instead of using a prefers color scheme media query, the class strategy looks for a dark class on the parent element in the document. Let me demonstrate this by duplicating the card component here. And I'll add the dark class to the parentmost div here on the first component. And here we go. Now, any dark variant which is nested within an element with the dark class, like our first card here, will display the dark variant colors. This is pretty cool. As you can imagine, it allows you to create controls that dynamically update the UI by toggling the dark class on and off somewhere in the HTML markup.